Hello everyone and welcome to Survivor Radio Network, your weekly nerd news. If you like this video, give us a like, consider subscribing, and join us on Discord. Everything we talk about this week will be linked below. Let's jump into it. Welcome back everyone to SRN. New year, new look. We hope you like it. Let's get into it. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, The Game, Complete Edition. The classic graphic novel, turn movie, turn game, returns after 10 years with 2D arcade-style side-scrolling beat-em-up action. The Complete Edition includes all previously released DLC and add-on packs, as well as remastered graphics. With play for you and up to three friends in multiple game modes, take control of Scott Pilgrim and other classic characters from the franchise on your way to defeat the League of Ramona's Evil Exes. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World The Game Complete Edition is available now for PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, Stadia, and PC. Pitman 3 Agent 47 is back once again to bring you all the assassination antics you're used to from this long-running franchise. The final game in the World of Assassination trilogy puts players in six exotic world locations as you finish the story of Hitman 1 and 2. The game where everything is a weapon and anyone can be your disguise, speak softly and carry a big stick, or take out your target without anyone knowing. Complete challenges and escalations to repeat missions and perfect your skills, or just see how many ridiculous ways you can murder a whole room of people. Pick up Hitman 3 on PlayStation, Xbox, Stadia, PC, and Switch via console streaming. Is there a new switch on the way? Data miners are providing evidence that there may be a new handheld on the horizon. The latest firmware for the Switch and Switch Lite reference a new piece of hardware codenamed AULA. It is reported to feature the same system chip as the Switch Lite, but at a faster clock speed. The big feature for the new system would be integrated into the system dock, and would feature its own chipset, enabling 4K output in dock mode. In addition to faster performance and 4K output, Rumors also point to an OLED display on the new handheld, which would mean better colors and deeper blacks, as well as the potential for better battery life. No word yet on when we may see this new console, but fingers crossed it actually exists and might see the light of day in 2021. The House of Mouse, Disney, continues to expand its reach across all media announcing that we're going to get more games based on their Lucasfilm properties. And now, they're going to be under a new Lucasfilm Games banner, seemingly marking an end to the Star Wars EA exclusivity deal. While this initial announcement didn't include any new game reveals, it wasn't long before we started to get some hints at things to come. First up was Bethesda, with an official teaser trailer for an Indiana Jones game. The game will be made by Machine Games, the studio behind the recent Wolfenstein installments which seems like a good fit since they're used to making games where you fight Nazis. The infamous Todd Howard will executive produce this original story set at the height of Indy's career. After that, we got word from Ubisoft Massive, the studio behind the Division series, that they are currently working on an open-world Star Wars game running in the Snowdrop engine. While there aren't much details on either game at this point, it is certainly good news to see more talented teams tackling these beloved properties. Hopefully we'll get to see more news in the future, and maybe we'll get to see a Star Wars skin on all of our favorite genres. In entertainment news, we have the return of the MCU with WandaVision on Disney+, Plus, now streaming episode 1 and 2 of the 9 episode season. New episodes will air every Friday. What is going on inside the sitcom simulation town of Westview? Is this all made up by Wanda's imagination? What will this mean for Marvel Phase 4, and will we finally get the reveal of mutants in the MCU? This series is definitely different from the primary MCU movies, 
with a weekly theme related to a different sitcom classic like Dick Van Dyke, Bewitched, Roseanne, and more certainly has a lot going for it. In other entertainment news, Netflix showed off their 2021 film lineup with a star-studded trailer, highlighting the fact that there will be new movies of all types coming out every week this year. Notable highlights include the Chris Hemsworth action piece Escape from Spiderhead, Sweet Girl with Jason Momoa, Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead with Dave Bautista, Jennifer Lawrence and Leonardo DiCaprio in Don't Look Up, and Red Notice starring Gal Gadot, Ryan Reynolds, and The Rock. Out on Netflix now, we have The Magicians Season 5, Part 3 of Matt Groening's Disenchantment. For movies, we have Robin Williams' classic Hook and the sci-fi military action movie starring Anthony Mackie, Outside the Wire. Let us know any games we missed, what games you're looking forward to, and don't forget to join us on Discord. I'm Dragon, and this has been SRN Weekly Nerd News.